So now we're going to look at the actual reaction that you'll be studying in lab today. So here's the overall reaction. Now, I'm using the letter A to represent a bigger, more complicated molecule called guaiacol. And you can see uh, uh, the actual structure of guaiacol in your lab manual. But so this A molecule here is going to represent one of the substrates of this reaction, guaiacol. All right. So in one of the reactants here is guaiacol in its reduced form. This is reduced. And it reacts with hydrogen peroxide to give us the products 2H2O plus, again, guaiacol, but now it's in its oxidized state. So this is oxidized. All right, this reaction is catalyzed by an enzyme called peroxidase. All right, so your instructor will uh, extract some peroxidase enzyme from a turnip at the start of lab. But these two things here, the guaiacol in its reduced form and the hydrogen peroxide, these enter the active site of the peroxidase, and then this reaction is catalyzed. Now, Here's what's really important for being able to observe this reaction. In its reduced form, guaiacol is clear. It has no color. Whereas in the oxidized form, it has an amber color. So to observe the activity of the enzyme, what you're going to be watching really is the formation of this amber color from this clear reactant.